Hello YouTube, and uh, this is the first pie that I blew up that released the magic smoke. So this is the one I attacked it with the pair of cutters to remove the device, or move the bit of silicon in there anyway, because I couldn't be able to desolder it. So we're going to try and repair this now. So obviously the DC DC converter on board is no good, but I do have some of these. And these are, that's the part number of them. These are 3.3 volt linear regulators. So the idea would be, we fit a linear regulator, where the DC DC converter would be. So I think this should work because it only draws a tiny amount of current anyway, so there should be no uh, problems there. And it actually gives an advantage because the original input of this is only um, five and a half volts. Them converters are rated up to 30 volts, although whether you can actually do the proper heat sinking, we shall find out. But the only issue with this, of course, we can't go lower than 3.3 volts because they're linear regulators. So a normal, Pico would go down to about 1.8 volts, whereas we won't be able to do that with this mod. So uh, I shall fit it on now. So that's the regulator soldered in. So obviously lovely and neat. So we've got ground in the middle, uh, V in there, and this is the 3.3 volt line to the Pico, or, and that's also the same as the output of the DC DC. So it should still work with USB as well because that is effectively the 5 volt input from the USB. So this should also fix it permanently maybe so we'll plug it into the breadboard boom, and see if it works all right obviously i've got to film this in case there's smoke so i shall flick the switch on the power supply now and nothing happened well that's a bit boring not drawing any current either. Right, what am I doing wrong? Uh, we've got power. We haven't got ground, have we? To the Pico. That would do it. Right, okay, need a ground by. Uh, which pin is ground? Ground is that one. Two. Still no current. Let me check my wiring. Yep, my own city fault. I didn't wire it in properly, but it's working. You can see there's a red LED glowing, which is what the program is meant to do. And if I bring it up higher, the potential on this pin, it changes color. So that Pico is now fixed. So shall we see if we can fix the other Pico, the one that's in this board that I've been playing with? So I know what you're thinking. Where did I learn to solder so well? Well, years of practice. Um, that is now fixed or fitted across the um, DC DC converter and again I've cut the old chip out so there's no short there it's not produ producing anything so what we've got to do again is power it up and see if it works focus right so let's apply some electricity and see what happens uh, where's the switch there it is and nothing still producing or pulling 160 odd milliamps so it's very possible that something else has gone short on here where it's gone pop. Not actually that hot. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll, do you know what? I might just cap, cut one of them caps off because why not? Yeah, and we're still uh, drawing tons of current and there's been and the input of this, this uh, RP2040 is being pulled down. So I have a feeling that when this um, buck converter, boost converter, um, went, it's taken the chip out as well, which isn't a surprise. So basically it was running, it was running that off five volts. So I think this Pico in here is dead, but the other one is working. So I managed to save one of them, which is good because it means I've got one at least until the um, my del my delivery of new ones comes. So, uh, yeah, I'll carry on developing it. And I do think there is a problem with the DC DC converter on these boards. So, whether this become a permanent fix, don't know. I'll have to um, have a play and do some more, more playing. Right, but for now, that's a short video. See you next time. Bye.